Hello and welcome to the Checkpoint, the only gaming channel that runs on a special mixture of goat's milk and monkey urine. I'm Steve and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies. If you remember in the last episode, we got up to level 6, we met a couple of new friends along the way while fending off the undead hordes and uh, I think we did pretty well so we're going to be back for another episode today and uh, hopefully this should go well. So let's go straight into the adventure mode, we've got the scary hand popping up yet again, gets me every time and uh, I do distinctly remember unlocking a new. Ooh, look! That guy's got a javelin. Uh, yeah, a new uh, potato mine style thing. And uh, we also got a shovel, so we'll be able to put these new friends to good use today. And um, yeah, it'll it'll go well, I think. Um, we seem to be doing good so far, and uh, we've gained a little strategy. You know, we're doing like a row of sunflowers, then a row of pea shooters, and whatnot. So uh, I think we need to get a pea shooter to start us off, just to get that. A fence working, especially when that um, javelin guy comes, because uh, I think will he throw it at us? I don't know. We'll have to see. But um, I do have the uh, cursor on the screen this time, because I didn't realise last time, but I actually didn't have it on, so you couldn't really tell where I was pointing and stuff. And let's put that there quickly. Um, so I think it's quite useful to have that on, because now we can actually see where I'm pointing and I can strategize with you guys. So let's put another pea shooter there just to take that guy out. So this potato mine. Basically, when a, a zombie comes up to it, it um, it takes a while to arm itself, but it will uh, blow them up into uh, several chunks of zombie stuff. And uh, last episode was quite long, actually. I didn't realize how long I was going for. About 17 minutes, so I think I'm going to keep it to about uh, two you know, matches of Plants vs. Zombies, I guess. Two waves of Plants vs. Zombies. Um... And then I'll uh, end the episode because last time we did about four, and plus the mini game, so it was a bit, a bit hectic. Um, right, let's just pop that there. And uh, we need something to cover up this bottom part here. You probably can't see it because the webcam will be in the way. Uh, and there's not many other spaces where I could put this. Uh, maybe in the top right, actually. I might put in the top right the webcam because that just seems like a logical thing to do, rather than have it. Um, Let's put this here. Rather than have it obscure in this bottom left hand corner of the screen. We'll see. Wherever it is, that's where I've decided to put it. So uh, I hope you uh it's okay for you guys. Now we do need to get another we'll put another pea shooter here for now. Just take out this guy quickly, because I'm not sure if the walnut will be able to withstand much eating. Uh, oh god, it's this javelin guy. Let's see what he does. Oh he's a pole vault there. Oh, so that might mean I'll be able to jump over these potato mines or walnuts or something. Yeah, that's quite clever. These zombies, very, <laughs> very clever. They, uh, they know what's going on. They seem to take a bit more damage. And they, they get all the way up to here without um, dying. So that's uh, it's pretty... What's the word? Compulsory that we have t at least two um, pea shooters. So let's get to work on... Defending it up a bit, um, just putting the fences up, getting these pea shooters out. I might put a row of uh, potato mines in front actually. Um, actually, that was a bad idea, let's not do that. And remember, we do have the shovel just in case uh, we need to uh, dig up plants. Right, let's put a potato mine there. So, it, it does actually take quite a while to arm itself and it takes a while to recharge, so. Might be a good idea to. Oh, we need another pea shooter here. Uh, so it might be a good idea to put them in specific locations and waiting for them to charge up. Like as you can see, it's armed now. So if, when this uh, javelin, uh, javelin pole vault guy gets up to here, I uh, could just leap over it. Excellent. Um, so yeah, I guess there is a counter to uh, stuff like that. So they're not really useful with the, these javelin guys, but with everything else, it seems to be pretty good. Um, I think these are the last two zombies, so we'll just sit back and watch this last zombie get killed, so, um, yeah. So by this time this video is up, we've probably got, like, a couple... Ooh, what is that? Uh, we've probably got a couple of videos on the channel. We did the podcast yesterday. I recorded the first episode, uh, of Plants vs. Zombies yesterday. Shoots frozen peas, that damage is slow, the enemy. That's pretty cool. Um... So yeah, we've probably got a couple of videos up by now. I know Kieran was doing a uh, RuneScape guide, so that should be up as well. And uh, that should be good. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're getting rocking and rolling here. 
the podcast went well. Um, I'm sure Kieran's video is pretty good. So I think I think we'll be good. I think we're here to stay, you know. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this series as well because I do enjoy it. It makes a change from the normal bland first-person shooter gameplay that I post on my uh, my original channel. So um, I'm just going to put all my effort into this right now because great group of guys that I'm working with and I really like the uh, concept of this channel. The way that's just everything game. It's not limited to uh, specific styles of games. So yeah. Right. Let's get to work on saving the world from some zombies. That gives enough to put another sunflower there. Hopefully they don't come in these bottom two sectors because we haven't got any defense mechanisms there right now. Um, I I really am curious about these snow peas though. So maybe we'll We'll use them at one point. Uh, yeah. I think it'd be a better idea to put the Snurpy uh, shooters at the back so it slows them down from a distance and then I've got time to replant in case uh, my first pea shooters are killed. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. Right, we do need a pea shooter here, actually. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put a mine there just in case. Because if he gets too close, then uh, we are royally screwed. Um, so yeah, those guys with their crazy Kern armor. Uh, let's put that there to even up the, the score a bit. And uh, yeah. Right, so uh, when this series is over, which should be Halloween, um, unless you guys really, really enjoy this series and want me to continue, um, what games do you want to see? Do you want to see Minecraft? Do you want to see Terraria, maybe? Wow. Do you want to see, um... Maybe... Some first-person shooter gameplay. Call of Duty Ghost is around the corner. I know we've got some... Stuff in the pipeline for that. Um, Grand Theft Auto Online. That'd be fun to do with the guys. You know, we just want to keep... Making the best content that we can. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. Because we do enjoy making it. It's really brought us together. Um... So yeah, we're getting a bit soppy at the moment. But yeah, let's keep let's keep working on these guys. Keep taking them out because I think I think I think we're gonna be good. Other than these two pea shooters that we need here at the bottom, so we just gotta wait for one more bit of sunshine. Uh we need to get walnutted the place up as well, I think. Um right, let's take that out. And we need one more pea shooter. And then we need to get to work on these uh, snow peas, or whatever they're called, yeah. Because those will be good to have. Um, right, let's just collect sun. Because I think I think we're good. I didn't see any uh, pole vaulter guys in the uh, little line-up they showed at the start. Right, let's, let's put this guy here and see how he does. Ooh, that is going to be really useful, actually. Oh my goodness, that is great. Wow. Right, so we've got one Snurpy on the field, and we don't really want him to get taken out, should we want? Right, we'll warn up that bit. And hopefully, they all don't come from this direction. So we've got this guy here, that should slow him down a bit, the uh, Snurpees. Yep, that's slowing, slowing him down, and it is dealing damage as well, so... Right, let's put that there, because we have got a Kern guy there. Yep, that Snurpy is very useful. I can tell already that's going to be one of the major players in this series, I'm sure. Uh, yep, yep. There we go. Pop that there. That's great. That's just great. Uh, right, there is some more to come, so maybe we should cover these guys with walnuts. Oh god. That's quite a few. Keep collecting the sun. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. Right. Come on, we need one more bit and then we've got enough for uh, another Snurpee. There it is. And where should we put it? Let's just even it up a bit and put it there. And then we've got covering all uh, vantage points here. I just love the sound of them getting frozen. It's such, so satisfying. Right, we'll get a couple walnuts up. Um, it is pretty much the end of the wave, so I, d I doubt we'll be able to uh, do anything. We have got 
Mr. Pole Vaulter here. The Olympian. <laughs> Running up, so... Yeah. Right, I think we're good. I think we'll just leave it now and see uh, what happens. Look at all these guys. I mean, it's such a good game once you get into it. It might be slow at the start, but once you get into it, it's really, uh, really fun. Look at that. Look at that. We're just, like, icing them. Icing fools. There we go. And this guy should be taken out very, very slowly. And pop. Down he goes. And we'll see if we can collect that so what? I thought that was the huge wave. <laughs> oh dear. I thought that was a huge wave. Wow, it's not over then. Right. It ain't over till it's over. There's quite a bit of zombies actually. Woo. Right, we might need a another walnut. Nah, we'll be fine. How about that? Down they fall, like mighty oaks falling in the forest. These two poor zombies just walking towards their doom. Down they go. What have I unlocked? Oh my goodness, what's that? Is that? It's like a Venus flytrap. Um, Chomper devours a zombie whole but is vulnerable while chewing. Alright. I think that's going to do us for now, actually. So, um, oh, look, we get to choose next time, strategizing. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, leave a like and subscribe to the Checkpoint channel. And uh, make sure you support the other guys over here, too, because we're all really passionate about this. And hopefully we'll do the best we can. Next episode, we come against a guy with a bucket on his head.